Hey, what's up guys? It's Dom from Whole Printing Inc. In today's quick video, I'll be sharing with you guys how to fix your two flashing lights. Now, this video is gonna be pretty straightforward and pretty quick because I already made some videos on how to fix flashing lights in the past. Video up here for the first one. Make sure you guys take a look at that first one before looking at this one. And also video for second one right up here. Make sure you take a look at both videos before watching this one. Now, how do you know you have to fix the flashing lights with this method I'm gonna show you right now? The easiest and most you know, ideal way would be to look at your WIC reset. If you have a DTF printer, you most likely have the WIC reset software. In that software, you'll be able to take a look at what's causing the issue. Now, for most of you, it's gonna look like a bunch of mumbo jumbo. It's gonna be words that you don't understand. So how I knew that I had to actually go ahead and put oil on this little metal part right here was because my printer was actually going very slowly. Let me show you guys an example of what was going on. So first of all, I hear a very weird sound when it goes back and forth. It does like a little bit of a screeching sound. Also, another way I found out that I actually had to put some oil was because I was getting the two flashing lights and everything was going well. There was no obstruction with my printer and I, w I did reset the waste ink pump a bunch of times and the flashing lights still appeared. Also, when it was printing, it sometimes stopped for a while and then went back like this very very slowly and sometimes it stopped completely and went back and even when i'm just pulling the cart like this guys there's a lot of resistance so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to apply some lubricant on my rod right here the metal one let me just show you guys this metal rod right here i'm going to put some lubricant all around here and i'm actually going to go ahead and move the cart after it's done so Pretty straightforward guys. You wanna put some lubricant on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a Q-tips to apply the lubricant. You wanna apply the lubricant on the top, pretty much everywhere. Sorry for the angle guys, but it's pretty straightforward. You just wanna put some lubricant on this rod right here. And honestly, when it comes to lubricant, I'll have a link down below, but you just wanna make sure that uh, the lubricant you're using um, is either a paste or a liquid, but you wanna be kinda of gentle when applying it because you don't want to have lubricant on other parts of the printer, if that makes sense. So you can put quite a bit of lubricant on here, back and forth like so. And then the next step is pretty straightforward. After you applied a good decent amount of lubricant on the rod you simply want to go ahead take your cart like this make sure that it's movable and you just want to go back and forth a bunch of times and as you can see everything should be a lot more smooth i'm going to put another round of lubricant everywhere just to make sure because I still felt a bit of stiffness. So now I have a very good amount guys. I'm going to go back and forth again. And this looks good. It's going back and forth a whole lot faster, way less resistance. And I'm just going to remove the excess here. Go on this side, just remove the excess with my fingers, go back and forth a bunch of times. Perfect, that should be good. Now I'm gonna turn on the printer. That was pretty much how to fix flashing lights. And also if your cart is moving slow like this, obviously now it's turning back on, so that's why it's moving slowly. But if it were to move slowly while it's actually printing something and then you get the two flashing lights, this is most likely the culprit. Also guys, just take into consideration, if you had your DTF printer for over a year and you never put lubricant on this metal rod right here, that's probably the culprit. So hopefully you guys found this video somewhat helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. This was Dom from Whole Printing Inc. Make a print you'll never forget.